Okay, so I told you a little lie. Um, if you want your reward, that being a Kool-Aid Jammer or a Nutri-Grain Bar or a rock put back in the happy jar, you also have to do one of the questions I'm going to give you in this video. Sorry. Not made of Nutri-Grain Bars. So, sometimes they might end up being a little different than the one in the previous video. So, you look at this one. Looks a little, looks like the other one, but as you, as you'll see as we get going, there's a little bit of a difference. So, let's have a look. Here. Well, what's the first thing we got to do? Well, we only want y left over here on this side of the equal sign, so we're going to have to get rid of negative two x. You'll notice this time it's not an inequality; it has an equal sign. So this would just be a straight line. So. We're going to get rid of negative 2x. How do we get rid of negative 2x? We add positive 2x. And if we do it on one side, we have to do it on the other side. So those cancel. We're left with negative 3y equals negative 9 plus 2x. Now, now what do we got to get rid of? Well, we only want y over here. We got to get rid of that negative 3. When a number is being multiplied by a variable, we have to divide by that number to get rid of it. And if we divide on one side, we have to divide everything on the other side by the same number. So the negative 3's cancel. My whiteboard almost falls down. And we're left with y. So we have a negative 9 divided by a negative 3. A negative divided by a negative gives you a positive. And how many times does 3 go into 9? 3 times. And we just break down what was left in our previous step. So, are we done? No. It kind of looks like we're done, but remember, it's supposed to be y equals mx plus b. Our b is where our m should be, and our mx, or our m, is where our b should be. Our y-intercept is in the slope area, and our slope is in the y-intercept area. So this has to move here, and this has to move here. If this were a negative 3, our final equation would look a little different. The sign comes with the number when it moves. So if this were a negative 3, and this negative 3 moves over here, the negative 3 comes with the 3. No, there's my dog again. So you could say subtract 3 or plus negative 3. It means the same thing. Shut up! So, now, here's one for you to try. Definitely going to be doing this at school next time. Because my basement isn't really equipped for mathematics. Here's the one I want you to try. Uh, do I just, do? just do that one. Nope, just do that one. Okay, you are trying this one. Negative four y subtract five x equals 12. Alright, got it in five minutes. Oh, and just to show you where I'm doing all this lovely stuff. Mm. Oh. 
This is my music room. The drums. The crappy drums. And all the other goodies. Until next time.